in this video we are going to discuss 9th class geography third lesson different movements of the earth that is rotation and revolution what is rotation rotation is the spinning of the earth on its axis once in 24 hours before discussing effects of the rotation of the earth let us see some important features of the rotation of the earth first direction the earth rotates from west to east second the earth axis is not vertical it is tilted 23.5 degree in the same direction that is towards the pole star now let us discuss the effects of the rotation of the earth first effect occurrence of day and night the places on earth experiences day or night due to the rotation of the earth due to the spherical shape of the earth all places on earth will not get sunlight at the same time only the part of the earth that faces the sun will have light the opposite side will be dark the lighter part we call day and the darker part we call night. Second effect of the rotation of the earth is sunrise and sunset. We experience sunrise in the east and sunset in the west due to the rotation of the earth from west to east. Third effect of the rotation of the earth is Coriolis effect. Coriolis effect refers to the force experienced by any object moving over the surface of a rotating body. Under this effect, the winds and the ocean currents move clockwise to the right in the northern hemisphere of the earth and move in the anti-clockwise direction to the left in the southern hemisphere of the earth. Fourth effect, due to the rotation of the earth, the sun the stars, though they are constant, we feel them moving from east to west. Next, due to the rotation of the earth, the middle part of the earth got a bulge and the south pole and north pole are flattened. This is due to the centrifugal force created by the rotation of the earth. We already discussed the axis of the earth is not vertical, it is tilted. Now let us discuss what are the effects of the tilting of the axis of the earth. If the earth axis was vertical, all the places on earth would have experienced equal day and night. But due to the inclination of the axis of the earth, the duration of day and night varies. If the axis of the earth was vertical, the places on earth would have the same temperature throughout the year. Now, let us discuss the effects of the revolution of the earth. What is revolution? Revolution refers to the movement of the earth around the sun on its elliptical orbit. First effect of the revolution of the earth is seasonal changes. Due to the revolution of the earth around the sun and the tilted axis, we feel sun move from south to north and then north to south. This movement of the sun is within the range of the Tropic of Cancer to the Tropic of Capricorn. The sun doesn't move beyond the tropics. This apparent movement of the sun causes variation in the heating of places on earth at different latitudes. Changing weather conditions due to the differences in the heating of the earth causes different seasons. Second effect of the revolution of the earth is the variation in the distances between the earth and the sun. 
due to the elliptical orbit of the earth distance between the earth and the sun is not same when the earth is closer to the sun it is called perihelion and that is on or about january 3rd every year when the earth is farthest from the sun it is called aphelion and it occurs on or about july 4th third effect of the revolution of the earth is creation of different heat zones due to the round shape of the earth and the revolution of the earth different heat zones with the clear characteristics are created according to this we have three heat zones on earth first one torrid zone it is between 23.5 degree north and south latitudes it experiences warm climate throughout the year now the temperate zone this zone lies between 23.5 degree latitude to 66.5 degree latitude on both sides of the equator this region experiences a moderate climate third zone the frigid zone this zone extends from 66.5 degree north latitude to 90 degree north and south hemisphere this region experiences extremely cold climatic conditions because of the revolution of the earth around the sun we feel the sun move from north to south then south to north in this movement two days of the year the sun comes overhead at the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn and this phenomenon is called solstice on june 21st when the sun is positioned overhead at the tropic of cancer it is called summer solstice and on december 22nd when the sun reaches overhead at the tropic of capricorn it is called winter solstice on two days in a year the sun shines vertically over the equator on this day the day and night are of equal length throughout the world so it is called equinox so due to the revolution of the earth we have four seasons on earth on 21st june when the sun is positioned overhead at tropic of cancer we have summer season in the northern hemisphere and winter in the southern hemisphere and on 23rd september when the sun is positioned vertically overhead at the equator it is autumn in northern hemisphere and spring in the southern hemisphere on 22nd december when the sun is positioned overhead at tropic of capricorn it is summer in southern hemisphere and winter in northern hemisphere and on 21st march when the sun is positioned again overhead at the equator we have spring in the northern hemisphere and autumn in southern hemisphere i hope with this chapter rotation and revolution is clear to you so thank you